Hey, Pastor Tom here. Thanks for joining me. This week, we are taking a deeper dive in our study of the book of Acts to think about someone being called an apostle. We want to increase our understanding of the men Jesus called apostles and to know if there's a continuing role of apostles today. Your digging deeper assignment this week is to look at all the places the word apostle is used in the New Testament. To help you get started, I'm going to focus on the book of Luke as well as the first chapter of Acts. There are six times the word apostle is used in the book of Luke. The first time is in 613. Jesus called his disciples and chose from them 12, which he named apostles. The apostles came from a larger group Jesus called his disciples. There were more than 12 disciples because Jesus chose only 12 of these disciples. Jesus takes the initiative to choose these 12. They did not volunteer, nor were they self-appointed. And Luke says that Jesus named them apostles apostles. The word apostle is a word that English has borrowed directly from Greek, apostolos, which sounds very much like our word apostle. So our first question is, what does this word mean and why would Jesus use this term as a specific designation for his chosen men? The second time the word apostle is used is in chapter 9, verse 10. On their return, the apostles told him all that they had done. Now at the start of chapter 9, Jesus had called the 12 together and given them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases and sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. So the word apostle is connected with authority, power, and a mission. The third time the word apostle is used is in Luke 11, 49. Here Jesus says, Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute. We see that apostles and prophets are linked because they are both people God sends. The fourth time this term is used is in Luke 17, 5. Here Luke writes, The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. This is in response to some things Jesus said to his disciples on sin and forgiveness. Now you can see how few times the word apostle is used by Luke, only six times, whereas the word disciple is used six times as frequently. Luke 22:14 14 says the apostles are with Jesus at the Last Supper before he was betrayed. So they are with him at key moments. And the last time is in Luke 24, 10 when the women who had witnessed the empty tomb told what they had seen to the apostles, who were singled out among all the disciples to receive this information. So the book of Luke uses the term apostle six times, and we see how it's a specific term used for the 12 that Jesus chose from his disciples and named them apostles. Now going to Luke's second book, Acts, the word apostle is used two times in chapter one. In the second verse, Luke says Jesus had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. So Luke again makes it clear that Jesus had chosen these apostles. And then at the end of the same chapter, the narrative concludes with lots being cast to choose a replacement for the betrayer Judas. And the lot fell to Matthias, and he was numbered with the 11 apostles. So again, we see a limited number of apostles. It is a specific office, so to speak. Now, the big question for us is, what about the other people named apostles in the New Testament, like Paul? And third, is this a continuing office today? Do we have apostles chosen by God living and active in the world today for us? Thanks for joining me. God's blessings on your week.